Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and bless you guys with a few voiceovers. I want to make up for lost time because I've been under the weather. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert situation. I know a lot of folks were hitting us up yesterday. A lot of folks were sending us this story that a Allegedly, a porn star named Albie Riders was pregnant and she got pregnant by Tiana Taylor and Amon Shumpert during a threesome, okay? So this was the rumor going around, but as you all know, we're professionals here. We don't jump on viral stories. We don't try to be first. We wait until the facts come out. So you guys can check out LovelyT.com. You guys can check out Lovely T's fan page on Facebook, my Instagram, uh, let's see what else, my Twitter. The only thing we ever posted was Tiana Taylor speaking out and basically denouncing the rumors. We never ran with the original story because we wanted to wait to get proof. Tiana then came out and said that, no, this is not true. This is not what's happening. And so right now, this is causing a lot of chaos. Albie Writers has also come out denying the claims. And Iman Shrimpert went off today and basically said he's suing all of the blogs who ran with this story, who put this story together, and he's really, really upset, okay? So like I said, this is why it's good to sometimes fall back wait and see how things play out instead of trying to be first all the time but anyhow let me go ahead and break down how everything first happened um the reason why people kind of put two and two together is because they were all on this porn stars page and she's been posting pictures of her baby she had the baby you know a little bit before christmas i've never heard of this woman never seen her don't know who she is i just know she does porn so um, under one of her pictures, the one with her and her baby in the Christmas outfit, Aman comes onto her post and basically posts an emoji with two heart eyes. And so at that point, people in the comment section are shocked. Like, hold up, Aman, what are you doing here? You know, do you have something to tell us? And I'm going to show you guys screenshots of the comments here. So people are really surprised. And so they put two and two together. Okay, you have this pretty little Latin chick. We all know Tiana likes to swing both ways. This Latin chick is a porn star and her baby appears to be mixed so you know something as simple as an emoji with two heart eyes for some people equate you know a dna test you would have thought maury came out and said iman you are the damn father they put two and two together and they ran with the story that iman fathered this baby while tiana and him were having a threesome with this chick okay so of course uh tiana was really upset i believe she ended up deleting her instagram account but then she later came on to twitter to address the situation I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what uh, Tiana said. She says, one, I've never seen slash touched that girl in my life. Two, my page is gone because I'm upset at Def Jam for not dropping my damn WTP video on time per usual. Three, it's really sad that lies are entertained so much than the truth. Four, Iman is not dumb. He knows I'd kill him. End of story. Then she goes on to reply to somebody and says, so why he comment heart eyes on that baby's picture? And she replies back, she says, because it's a baby picture. You answered your own question. LOL, you got to be at a high level of insecurity to get mad over heart eyes on an innocent baby's pic. I'm not that girl. I'm sorry, that doesn't bother me. And then the girl, the porn star came out and this is what she had to say. She says, I refuse to entertain fake rumors. Life is too big and time is too short to get caught up in empty drama. But to protect my energy, I have to respond. Whoever is spreading these rumors, just know it's fake news and that ain't his baby. Y'all should be ashamed for creating this negative energy and throwing it around like it won't affect anyone. I had my baby with the man I was dating and that man ain't a mine. So please stop making fake stories just to get some likes and for everyone else believe in these blogs is no better than the person now leave me the fuck alone then she goes on to say if people were this quick to follow their dreams and be positive they would be somewhere in life instead they are entertaining fake rumors and spreading negativity sad how y'all put all your energy into anything but yourselves 
So that's what Ryder had to say about the situation. So, like I said, they were very upset. And, you know, rightfully so. Because, again, we live in a world where people don't even fact check anymore. As soon as, just like the same thing with the whole Travis Scott situation, as soon as people saw a picture, they just ran with it, made up a whole story. You know, it's just really insane what people are doing out here nowadays for clicks and views. There's very few people who still have journalistic integrity. So, like I said, Amon Sherper is very upset. And he's basically threatening to sue all of the blogs and anybody who ran with this false story. So this is what Aman is saying. I try to block this out to just play my game. Now that the game is over and due to me and my family publicizing our lives, I feel obligated to touch on this stupid ass story. So let's start here. My legal team is about to go to all the blogs involved in circulating the fake news. And trust me, them blogs don't have this kind of bread. Second, Albie is my friend, and I'm not going to apologize for putting heart eyes under her picture. As seeing my wife go through a pregnancy and blossom in motherhood, I can't help but admire and enjoy every part of that process through IG to any woman I scroll past in that energy. People that follow me strictly for Tiana updates came to my page to troll all because she deleted her page. The fact that y'all think negative things in her reflect on me when I'm the one always supporting her leads me to ask y'all to unfollow me. If you don't see who I am by now, I don't need you having a piece of my mind or family. Anytime something goes good for us, a rumor happens that Iman is so bogus and y'all go for it every time. This time I'm using the bread I work my ass off to bury you motherfuckers legally. This will be so worth it. Middle fingers up all 2009. Peace to Lafanto Pie. I don't know what the hell that ending part was. But basically, like I said, he's highly upset and rightfully so. But I will say this. My issue is, you know, with social media and the way that people are just sheeps, they don't use common sense, they see something, they run with it, you have to be careful how you make your moves. And when you're putting heart eye emojis under a female's post that's not your wife, it's not your child, unfortunately you have people who are going to run with the story and just make up anything. Another problem is Tiana and Iman Shumpert, they went on this hobo threesome tour. And I caught this out last year. And, you know, a few people were mad at me. They claimed that I was sex negative and all this dumb shit. But it's not about being sex negative. I feel like certain things need to be kept between you and your significant other. Certain things need to be kept into the bedroom. Because, again, if they weren't going from platform to platform to platform on this hobo threesome tour, telling the whole world how they, you know, pick up random girls in different countries, how they sleep with this person and sleep with that person, and how they bring people into their bedroom, guess what? One, Tiana, this woman would not have grown legs to Tiana there would have been no leg for people to stand on the reason why this rumor was able to grow legs and become believable is because you ran your mouth all last year while you were promoting your album you ran your mouth about threesomes you ran your mouth about bringing people into your bedroom so hence because of what you did by running your mouth and bringing people into your bedroom when it was nobody's business you actually breathed life for this rumor to form They've been going on this hobo threesome tour. You know, first they went on to the breakfast club and was just spilling all their damn business. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It's one of them things where it's like, um, you know, it happened. And when I look up and I see, I'm like, oh, you... You and then that's real. when the line comes in. Soon as we done, she leaving right out to. Do it wasn't no key key. Right. Like uh -huh. we wasn't sitting there, lady. We wasn't the sitting night. there watching the Tiana anymore yeah. show. We wasn't sitting there watching hit the floor. <laughs> baby, you gotta <laughs> go, <laughs> baby. <laughs> this ain't that. See, and it was funny is because after that we actually. <laughs> why you got? We like <laughs> we went out and shit. We went out whatever, and uh, when we was coming back, back to the hotel, she thought she was coming back to the gym. Like, All right, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> wow. Right. Well, holla, like this ain't that. She thought she was hanging so that's on. That's what I'm saying. I, I, but at the same time, I'm never gonna put myself in a position that like I can't handle. Like this ain't a thing where, oh, she's gonna go behind your back and deal with her. Nah, this ain't. This what ain't. about? All right, y'all just saw that video of Tiana just you know just talking too damn much, okay? Telling all your damn business. Oh. Hush, you talk too much. Oh girl, you never shut up. Oh. Goddamn. So now on top of her spilling all her tea to the Breakfast Club, like I showed y'all in the other video that I posted the other day, she has literally gone on a whole bowl threesome tour. She was on Hot 97. She was on Big Boy in the Morning. She was on Angie Martinez talking about her sex life and how she's having threesomes and how they're meeting random women in Brazil, you know, people that she does not know, that she is just invited into the bedroom and then basically kicking them out in the morning. Once again, people who are in happy, healthy relationships
relationships, they don't need to share their sex life with the world. If you're married to somebody, it should be a given. It should be common sense that you and your husband or wife are sleeping together. Why would sex with your husband or wife be something that you need to share with the entire world if you're truly happy? And this is why I question a lot of these celebrities when they get on these platforms and they just overshare. It lets me know that there might be some deeper issues going on because again, when you're truly happy and you're truly content, it's nobody's business what goes on with you and your significant other sexually. And the fact that they spent all of last year literally on every single platform promoting these threesomes as opposed to promoting her music says a lot okay so while i understand you guys are upset and while i understand that this rumor is false and that's not you know iman shumpert's baby again this is why you have to watch the things that you say and the type of energy that you put out there because you were so busy promoting your threesome no one bought your album because you were so busy promoting your sex life it overshadowed your music and you became a joke going from platform to platform to platform promoting a hobo threesome tour as opposed to making it about the music so again to the celebrities you have to watch the type of energy you yourself put out there you have to watch the type of things that you put out there everything is not for the world everything is not for everyone to consume okay now for the readers and for the people on social media, you know, I see so many people who get off on people breaking up. You know, we, we put celebrities on this pedestal or social media people, you know, first their relationship goals. And then we just do anything to try and break them apart. And to me, I can't get down like that. At the end of the day, you know, people go through issues in their relationships. People go through ups and downs. There's no perfect relationship. But I would never celebrate in the demise of somebody's relationship, especially when there's a child involved. You you know, the same thing when I talked about with Tamar, Braxton, and Vince going through their divorce. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Tamar, but I don't wish that on anybody because divorce is the death of a marriage. And that's something that's very, very serious. There's nothing funny about that. You know, when you take vows, you're taking them before your family, friends, and God. And that's something serious. Iman and Tiana are married. And I wish them the best in their marriage. And I want their marriage to last. I want them to be, you know, good parents to their daughter and continue being fruitful and, you know, do what they have to do. But again, they both need to also take some personal responsibility for the things that they put out there that cause rumors like this to spread and cause rumors like this to be believable. Because honestly, let's say that was anybody else who put heart eye emojis under that porn star's picture, no one would have thought twice about it. But because it was Iman... And because you and Tiana spent months bragging about threesomes, and this is a porn star, mind you, not some lily white author from the Midwest. This is a porn star. Okay, listen to how she damn talks. Everybody was telling me that after having a baby, my body, my bladder, my vagina will never be the same. And they were fucking right. My body is a thousand times better. My bladder is pretty normal. And my vagina is tight, my ninja. Tight. It will grab your dick and never let go. <laughs> She's like a bootleg porn star knockoff of Cardi B, okay? So, of course, people are going to think the worst before they think the best when it comes to you guys because of how you guys put your marriage and relationship out there. You know, so again, I hope this is a lesson for everybody. I think this is a lesson that everybody can walk away from, not just Iman, not just Tiana, but also the fans, and then also people who claim to have journalistic integrity, you know, seeing anything on the blogs, running with it, not doing their due diligence, not waiting for information to come out before they spread these rumors. Because again, once a lie takes off, a lie is already halfway around the world before the truth can even follow and let's not forget a lie is way more juicier than the truth the lie of him impregnating a porn star during a threesome is way more juicier than all three of them coming out and saying yo this did not happen this is a lie he's not the father i don't know her we've never slept together that's boring just because the truth is boring does not mean it's okay to continue to perpetuate a lie so anyways y'all that's my rant about this whole tiana taylor and mon sherpert abby ride situation so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.